All right, hello, I'm Jog, and welcome back to Banu Kazooie. Last time, we went through the witch's board game or evil board game, the fiery furnace. I can't remember the natural name. Not the fun. Well, it's time for us to finish things up. Furnace fun. Okay. Well, we saw Gridella go up this way, so where else are we gonna go? But try to follow after her. Ooh, spooky. Looks just like the opening. Also, there's a whoop called in from last episode, so neat. And this doll right here needs 810 notes. That's the, this is like the only thing stopping you from going up here before having to do Click Clock Wood. It's the only thing stopping you. So if you happen to cheat and get rid of that door, you could possibly come up here without ever doing that one. It's not over, stupid bear. See my picture over there. To fill it up is no mean feat. Lots of jiggies make it complete! <coughs> yeah, she's not lying. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Able. Yeah, so we gotta fill that thing in. That's another thing we need a lot of jiggies for. Also, this is the contraption from the very beginning of the game. From the game over. So it's neat that it's actually in the game. There's nothing else in here, but I do appreciate that it's at least here. Also, I'm assuming that Minion we just killed is meant to be Klungo, despite the fact he looks nothing like him, but... Yeah, well. Let's just put in the 25 jiggies required and open up the door. I'm sad to say, down there you'll stop. Cause I'm safe up here at the top. You coward! Alright. Uh, hello there. Ugh! What's that disgusting smell? Oh, visitors for Dingpot? I like visitors. It's a wonder you get any, sewer breath! Oh, what does strange buddy thing mean? Oh, uh, she said that we're looking for Gruntilda. Do you know where she is? I sure do, Mr. Bear. Grunty's awful, you know. She was sick and... She was sick in me earlier. Earlier on, if you can get rid of her, I'll be free. Don't be sure, you silly pot. Soon I'll have you nice and hot. See these filthy clothes I've got. When I run, you are washed a lot. Don't worry, Dingpot. We'll sort her out if you can find us a way up there. No problem. Just blush on in and I'll fire you up there to the top. Can't be there. No way, Ding Tongue Box. Come on, Kazooie. You get a chance to pick the witch's butt. Let's go. Yeah, we could peck the witch's butt. But I'm going to say right now, it's going to be a much easier to just fire egg at the witch's butt. 864 musical notes are required to open up this doorway. Opening up to a giant gold feather. We run into it and we get our gold feathers restored. The one requires 828. The lowest amount, I want to say. Also, another thing is that all these doors, I want to say the number up to, uh, the number all add up to like 18. So we got that one, we got that one, if we go over this way. This one is 846. Red feathers, thank you very much. And that was three, and if the camel would cooperate with me, we got one more right over here. Did I tell you she puked in me? It was awful. 882 is the most you need in the game. Titi's fate is looking grim. It's because her brother is dim. We do that, we open up another pathway, opening up to another, well, picture frame. We put in the jiggy is required, and... Looks like a honeycomb. With that, we just doubled our health. Right before the final fight. Very nice. So without further ado, let's jump on in. I can't believe that furry pair got right up here, it's so unfair! But now the stupid bear must fight this battle test your skill and might! Welcome to the final battle! Honestly, one of my favorite battles in video games. It's a great test of your skill and everything that the game has been doing up to right now. So we could pick the witch's butt, as I mentioned before, or just fire eggs. There we go. If they hit her four times and doing it that way just makes them so much easier. It's time to end your fun. Here comes a spell you can't out her on. She's not lying, so be prepared. That spell is an instant hit. It's too easy now to fear, so watch 
he take steps up in gear. Okay, so she will launch fireballs, and she has the aim of the snowman, so be careful. You have to hit her, like, three times? FOUR TIMES! Well, that stinks. That was not fair. The knockback got me. Are you worried this time, booty thing? That was not fair. That was a rip. <laughs> Oh, what? What dumb luck to get knocked backwards off the frickin' thing. I'm not one to brag or boast, but after this, you'll both be toast! Oh, shut up. Also, don't worry about running out of resources. The items will constantly respawn up here on the top. So, if you do the thing the other way of trying to peck the witch's butt, uh, she'll start off with doing two and then move on to, like, Three and four, blah blah blah. Three and four uh, goes about before she breaks, uh, before a broomstick starts to break down a bit. Also, I want to say she has different rhymes for everything going on, so don't hit me. That's crazy enough. I think you'll find the next bit tough. So yeah, if you, oh good, you can try to lead her towards um a fireball. Same thing with the eggs. You can try to lead the eggs on if you are good at aiming. If I'm gonna be honest, this is one of the more annoying bits. Just trying to hit her from the distance with the eggs. There we go, that's three. One more over here. If you can race ahead of her to get out the eggs, that's your best option. Before she can actually throw a fireball out at you. Oh, that last one didn't hit. It should have. Now I'm up into the air, leaving Banjo stuck way down there. Not bad so far, Banjo. Now use your aerial skills against the old buzzard. This fight bad. Thank you, Bottles. I'm so glad that Bottles actually... I'm so glad that one of our friends actually helped us out here. Dang it, I just missed. This one is... Okay, I'm not a fan of the egg shooting one. This one is also another bit of a pain. You just need to try and, like, try to actually get your tech off while also being careful you don't accidentally fly off the map. Ah, oh, come on. The other thing is that, like, I expect her to move and then she doesn't, and that's throwing me off. Okay, there we go, one. Now that beat gave me a joke, so have this lightning bolt. That's not a lightning bolt, that's a fireball. I said I missed that one. I literally said I was going to die. My advice! I can't- oh my god, I saw for sure I was gonna fall. I am not doing- I'm playing very risky this time. It's to try and use Kazooie's head, that's my advice. As your, uh, guiding reticle. Dang it. I can't expect her to stop sometimes, and... I always get overzealous and fire when she doesn't. There we go, four hits. You can tell it's done if you hear the... Honeycomb fall. Thankfully she won't throw a thing at you. So granting, uh, go to greet, hear the spell that I can hide beneath. Ow. Yeah, we can't do anything. I lost our flight pad. Nasty witch! Nasty witch speaks too soon! Ginger's come to help the Baron Bird! Come on then, you puny punks! Grudging spells will make you chunks! Yeah. Ginger! How that Ginger stung him, Bird! He got me where my back was turned! So it takes three eggs to get these guys to activate. The Jindos really are a joke. Watch your lives go up in smoke. And I get the guy, thank you. Also, if you want a little fun detail, uh, run underneath Gruntilda with the ginger underneath you and 
He can hit him without having to actually do the entire animation. That last shot, I failed to stop, so down onto the ground I'll drop. Alright, well, she lost her brew, but this old hag will not just give up. What? Ah, oh, the flame, the fireball explosion got me. Da 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 da! Puppy power! I am the mighty Gingernator. Activate me. What's all this? How dare you cheat! But I don't care, I can't be beat! Says I'm cheating if she has a shield up. That bear is dumb, the birds are twit. Cause I just got in another hit! Okay, at this point I'm just like... Full ham, just keep on firing eggs. Thought I got this one, but no. There we go. You know, you, uh, I got it done if you see that thing go up. And there we go. Controller is down now. Jingo fail to work. He's nothing but a feeble jerk. Harold <laughs> Grunty set the fall. Upon this fell, I now go. And she missed. Grunty's fate this should not be. So hurry, Clemgo, rescue me! There we go. That is, without a doubt, the ending to Banner Kazooie. Although, that being said, we will have one more episode after this, the bonus episode. And yeah, uh, apparently, in the original development of the game, that last bell was actually supposed to hit Banjo, turning him and Kazooie into a frog that Tootie had to go save, bring to Mumbo to get turned back to normal. Supposedly, you, uh, Tootie was going to have to collect all of the Mumbo skulls, if you did not collect all of them, and then take them to Banjo. So that's why there's so many extra Mumbo tokens. But apparently, I guess they ran out of time, or were having issues probably getting that all to work. So the idea was scrapped. Which I say thank you for, considering that seems like an absolute pain. Oh, this is great. Are we finished now, Judy? Can I relax? Sure, Banjo. You and Kazooie are heels now. You hear that, trust self? I'm a hero! Yes, I suppose you are. Well done, Kazooie. Thanks, Goggles. You're not so dumb after all. That's enough, Kazooie. Let's all watch the cast list now. So, yep, we got all of the main NPCs, now we got some more of them. As well as some of the enemies, I do believe, like... Dingbot. Oh, Dingpot. Klungo, who we never actually get to see outside of cutscenes. And... Yeah. So, back to what I was saying before. Back what well, I said before. Back in the last episode. I really do enjoy this game. It really is fun. The boss fight honestly is one of my favorites, and it's such a shame there's not a rematch option in this game that the sequel does. Speaking of which, uh, we won't be playing that game. We'll be playing Banjo 2 for at least two years. My hope is for it being two years on the day that it is released. 
So, we'll see what happens. See you in 2025 for that one, I guess. But, yeah. It's a fun game, really good. Pretty sure I talked about all the levels. Mumbles Mountain, Treasure Trove Cove, Clanko's Cavern, Bubble Gloop Swamp, Freezy Easy Peak, Gobi's Valley. Did I talk about Gobi? Yeah, I talked about Gobi's Valley. Mad Monster Mansion, Rusty Monkey Bay, and Click Clock Woods. But I guess I technically did not talk about Grunty's Lair. Grunty's Lair and Spiral Mountain. Whether or not you actually want to count them as levels or not is up for debate. Spiral Mountain is a great place just to get yourself started off. With the idea of there being tutorials and actually being rewarded for doing the tutorials. Or you can choose to skip them if you already know what you're doing and still get the rewards for them. I really appreciate that. As they could have easily made it so that the honeycombs you get for doing the tutorials only showed up if you have bottles explain everything to you. Which would just make things like a much slower start. Now, I'm not gonna lie. I really, really wish they would give Bando Kazooie and Banjo Tooie the Crash Bandicoot and Spyro treatment. I really wish they would remake these games from the ground up and release them. I swear to god, I would buy an freaking Xbox if it meant I could get these games, like, fully redone. And I really thought for the longest time, and I'm sure I'm not the only one, back when Banjo got released for Smash Bros. Ultimate, that real, that was going to be the case. That Rare slash Microsoft was going to have this in the works and have this revealed. But now it's 2023 and we still haven't gotten anything and it's just so annoying. Like, they're, they have to know that people care about the games and I understand, like, the, the staff is different, it's not the original people and whatnot. But, I mean, come on. We're the same staff that did the Spyro and the Crash Bandicoot game, so I feel like they, Microsoft could really do it, Where could really do it, and honestly, if they did it, they could see if there is still a passionate fan base for this type of series. I mean, Mario is still around, so I would say there is still a fan base for the series, or for, like, this genre. And they, I really wish they would do it just for the simple fact that they could make another game. That being the most difficult thing of how do you make a sequel when Pandu 2 was actually already a great sequel, but... <laughs> I will say I do prefer Kazooie over Tui, but the simple fact that Kazooie is shorter... Like, I want to say Tui is like three times larger than Bando kazooie Bando kazooie I want to say, takes me about four and a half hours to beat, whereas Tui takes me like twelve. But I also know Bando kazooie much better than I know Bando Tui. But I will not- I will not say anything bad about Pandu. I won't say much bad about Pandu Tui. It has a lot going for it, major improvements from this game, something I'm not the biggest fan of. But we'll deal with all of the pros and the cons in two years from now. Lots of And yeah, I don't think there's much more for me to talk about or think about. Uh, as I said, we're gonna have one bonus episode after all of this, so... Uh, yeah, after that, the series will be complete, and I'll be moving on to another another game and another genre entirely. And yeah, this, this cast credit goes on a lot longer than I thought. Ripper, thank you. I think we get to see the moon. The small boom boxes, adorable. I love how everything has eyes, for like no real reason, it's just a bunch, a bunch of eyes. Boss Boombox. The Grimlets, who I said were the only enemies that can't be killed, I was wrong. I forgot about Big Butt, the, the bull. He's another enemy that can't be killed. Flotsam. Seaman Grublin. Hey! Chump. Oh, I don't actually know if you can kill Chump, now I'm thinking about it. I feel like you might. You probably just either A, have to get the eggs in the right spot, or wandering into them. Snare barrel, I mean, okay. I don't know if that really counts as an enemy in the normal sense. Well, then again, if I'm gonna count the freaking guys from the ship, then I guess I might as well count the snare barrels as another enemy you can't kill. So that's three. Chobin Hood! Oh, sorry, Grubbin Hood. But it was Chobin. Yeah, you got Whip Crack and. Uh, what was the other one? What crap? What 
crack. Uh, can I remember the other one now? Oh well. Mmm, watermelon. Hey, more watermelons! Mumbo, what are you doing up there? Hey, Mumbo got secret pictures. That's one, Boom Brain. What's on him? Got pictures of things you missed. Secrets used in next game. <laughs> oh, did you hear that, Kazooie? We're gonna be in another game. Great, so let's see the pictures then, Scud Boy. Did you get all 100 jigsaw pieces? No, uh, I don't think so. You only got 99 of them. Sorry, only best players see pictures. Get 100 pieces and Mumbo show you. That's not fair! Can we just have like a quick peek? No, Mumbo go now. Got hot date. Hmm, perhaps you haven't finished after all. Why don't you go back and look for the missing jiggies? Yeah, I want to see those pictures. Mmm, go push, nasty rock. Don't worry, mistress. I'll save you. Stupid bear and dumb kazooie. I'll be back for a banjo chewy. Spiral Mountain looks very nice at night. I, I really wish we could actually see it at night. It seems like it's such a nice place to actually see. From the skybox to, like, Gruntilda's Lair lighting up. But yeah, there we go. That is Banjo kazooie So I will see you all next time for the bonus episode. Until then, have fun.